Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simriki, and welcome to another episode of Furnish Me, the series where I furnish the houses that you guys submit via the gallery with hashtag Simriki. Yeah, it's that easy. Put a house on the gallery with hashtag Simriki, and I will furnish it, and it will perhaps someday appear on the channel. <laughs> I said the series was done um, and that I wasn't taking any more requests, but like now doing the voiceovers on these, I've had these saved for a while. I really love the series. It's not going anywhere. Submit your houses. I will either furnish them on the channel here on YouTube or I will furnish them for my Twitch series, uh, maybe for a YouTube live series, maybe for a Twitch live series. I don't know. I love I love these houses. You guys are amazing builders. I love seeing what you come up with. And then being able to furnish just gives me another creative outlet. Of course, I love building a little bit more than furnishing, but oh gosh, there's something there's something really, really fun and relaxing about just plopping down some furniture and some colors and seeing what you come up with. If you guys are more players than builders, I highly recommend just messing around with the building features and the furnishing features. Um, it, it does take some practice to get used to it, but it's so much fun. For me, the best part about the game is furnishing and building. So I just, I love it. I love it so much. I don't know how else to say it. It just, it makes me happy. It gives me life. It gives me something to look forward to. Um, it's a stress reliever. I love building, furnishing. I love touring houses that you guys built, which by the way, you can submit a house for me to tour on the channel as well. Again, by using the hashtag Simmerkey and just letting me know in the description that it is for the house tour series. Uh, I might be doing some of those live. I actually did that last time. Well, not last time, but a couple weeks ago, we did a uh, live stream where I toured, I think, 10 houses, maybe eight or 10 houses that were submitted for house tours. And doing it in a live format is also super, super fun because we can go through a bunch in one video. And yeah, I mean, I just, I love interacting with you guys. The whole reason I have a YouTube channel is so that we can be friends and talk and share our creations with each other. So I love I love the community involvement and you guys are all so nice and so talented and I'm very, 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 very lucky to be part of this community. I just wanted to get that out there before we get into the details of the furnishing. Um, this house, this house is so beautiful. I wanted to really do it justice on the inside. I didn't want to completely clutter it up. So I think I definitely kept more modern elements in this build than I would usually do. Um, I'm trying to refresh my memory a little bit. I know that orange kitchen and dining room was one of my favorite kitchens and dining rooms that I've ever built. And, oh, excuse me, I'm just burping here. I'm rude. Um, <laughs> uh, there wasn't a lot of clutter. Usually I do a lot of clutter, but with this Furnish Me series, I've been doing less clutter. That sounds really weird because you would think like, oh, I didn't have to build the house. I could just spend all my time cluttering it and worrying about the small details. But for some reason... I'm doing a bit less of that. I think just sort of putting items around and maybe serving some inspiration for a room. I feel like you guys can download the house and just tailor it more a bit to your Sims. Um, I don't know. There's something a little bit fun about that too, right? You don't want me to cover every single corner and every single wall space because then if you use the home, you might actually be like, wow, I have no room for this, like my sim likes to garden and there's no planter boxes or, you know, my sim likes music and there's no room for a piano. So I'm not super, super cluttering them, but I'm still giving you enough items, I hope. So this house, I decided to just put a completely separate playroom for the toddlers and another one for the kids, just because we had plenty of room. Now, I think I think the kids can interact with some of the toddler stuff and the toddlers can interact with some of the kids stuff. So they're not completely separate rooms, but one is tailored more towards younger children uh, and, you know, for toys and playing. And this one's tailored a little bit more towards older children with, with more um, activities and painting and, and chess. Did I do chess? I don't know. Things like that. Uh, now this room, since it is a, a playroom or an activity room, I did want to put a bathroom attached so that your kids can spend a lot of time if you want there. If you want to sort of game play and pretend that you have a daycare at home, this would be a perfect house to use that for. Um, or if you had an LP that you were doing some sort of daycare let's play, uh, I think that would be really nice as well. And of course, since the kids have their own room and the toddlers have their own room, guess what? The pets have their own room because we have pets. 
<laughs> Sorry, I got a little excited there. I just love the pets. I love them. I love the cats. I love the dogs. I love giving them their own room, their own space, uh, everything they need in there. I don't know. I think it's cool. I, I love it. It's almost like a little pet shop, shop right inside of your house. <laughs> and this house was big enough to put it all in. So gosh, everyone gets their own designated play area, which I, I love. Um, but the living room, I don't know. You know, I never know sometimes when I furnish these what the builder had in mind. So I don't know if this was supposed to be the living room here. It's probably a little bit smaller than I would like. But then again, it is nice and cozy and intimate. And since we have all these extra rooms and play areas, I can't imagine the family would spend a lot of time sitting in front of the TV. So I actually don't mind that I put it in sort of a smaller area here. Um, but my gosh, that wall color, this like minty green, it's not quite minty. I don't know what you would call it. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Especially with those yellow chairs, they just pop so nicely. Oh gosh. And the rainbow plum bob painting, one of my favorites and this yellow and blue rug. It's just all, oh, all the colors that complement each other nicely. I feel like that's really nice there. Oh my gosh. I forgot I put an arcade. This house is full of activities. Let me tell you that we have a foosball table, darts, an arcade, a kid's toy room, an activity room, a pet room there. You will not run out of things to do here. I can tell you that much. You will not run out of things to do. Although I really wish that arcade was a little bit smaller and we had a few more arcade games. Um, I know we technically had an opportunity to do an arcade pack when we voted on our community pack and we all chose laundry instead, which I'm happy with. Um, by the way, I built where I furnished this house before the laundry pack came out. That's why there's no laundry room. Uh, I'm really happy we got the laundry pack, but it would have been nice to get an arcade pack as well. But I personally did not vote for that because we had just gotten the bowling stuff pack. And in my opinion, that should have had a couple of arcade games or a claw machine or, you know, a pool table, something with it. And it didn't. And I was so upset about that, that I was like, I'm not wasting my vote on an arcade pack when we should have had arcade stuff with the bowling pack. I know I'm a brat. I'm a whiny, whiny brat and I'm greedy, but that was my thought process. And I would much have, much rather have laundry. Um, but I do hope we get more of a, an arcade game style bar pack, maybe a bar style pack. I don't even know how they would incorporate that. I guess they would just have to do an arcade pack at some point. Hmm. I mean, we do have those, oh gosh, I never use those. What is it, Blick Block or something? I don't know. We do have those virtual machines that the Sims can get in and play games. And we have the Void Critter game for the kids. I just forget those exist. So maybe we do have more than I thought. Maybe I'm just whining to whine, but uh, can we at least get a pool table, Sims, please? I love pool. I love pool. I suck in real life, but I do like to play, although I haven't played in a long time. Um, but I really love virtual online pool. I know that that's weird. I know that's something people don't normally say. No, normally you don't meet someone and they're like, hi, I like the Sims and playing online pool. And you're just like, what? <laughs> Who plays online pool? There's people. It exists. I'm pretty good at it. You know, not to toot my own horn. I used to play Yahoo online pool back in the day when that was a thing. And I was ranked number three worldwide. Yes, in the world. I was the number three Yahoo online pool player in the entire world. Uh, just just bragging <laughs> like anybody cares. Just bragging right now. But I do like a good game of pool and I wish we had the pool table in The Sims. Although they never actually played full games. I understand that's asking too much. But when we had the pool table in Sims 3, they would play like half a game and leave. Like you couldn't just sit there and watch them actually play a game and have a, a winner. It never, I don't know, or at least I never saw it. But um. I did include pool tables a lot. Oh my gosh. So these flip-flop lights we got for free in an update with the holiday pack. And at first when I got them, I was like, who would ever use these dang stupid flip-flop lights? But they're so cute and bright and colorful. I've used them quite a bit. I've used them in quite a bit of kids' rooms, um, on some like outdoor patio areas. I don't think I would use them specifically for holiday stuff like it, it came with um, the pack for. But I do like the flip-flop lights. I can't talk. Flip-flop, flip-flop, flip Flip, flop, flip, no, I'll stop now. Flip, flip, flop. I like the lights. I like the lights with shoes. I like the shoe lights. Wow, that's easier to say. I like the shoe lights. <laughs> I'm weird, okay? I'll admit it. I am weird. I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. I'm very thankful that you guys watch me, even though I don't know what I'm talking about half the time, and I can't say words half the time, but 
I appreciate you guys being here. <laughs> it means a lot to me. It really, really does. So anyways, we're working on a large kid's bedroom. I'm pretty sure, did I put two kids in here? Um, I don't know. I like putting several kids in one room in The Sims. Uh, it, two. I don't want to say several. Like, I don't want to stick like five kids in one room. Although you probably could. <gasps> I wish we had bunk beds. Oh, I miss the bunk beds. When we had bunk beds in The Sims 3, I would put like three or four kids in a room. I had no problem doing that. Um, oh, oh, I did use the Void Critter machine. Oh my gosh, I'm so clever. Look at that. I did use it. I forgot it's been a while since I, I finished this. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding around, guys. I'm kidding around. But what was I saying? Oh, bunk beds. I know you could technically, technically build bunk beds um, in The Sims 4 and they'll kind of float up to the upper bed if you place them just right. I, I don't like that though. I don't like that. I mean, maybe for aesthetics, if I was doing like a dorm or something, I might do that. But in just my everyday houses that I play in or that I furnish or build for you guys to play in, I don't know if bunk beds that are created that way would be super functional. Um, but I would like them. I would like those and I would like pool tables. Sims, if you're listening, bunk beds and pool tables, please and thank you. <laughs> I know I'm greedy. I'm greedy. I'm whiny. Ugh, screenshots. I missed a wall. Look at that. I didn't even color that wall. If you guys download this house, you're going to have to fix my mistake. <laughs> Look how tiny this living room is compared to everything else. But you know what? That's okay. We didn't skimp on the activities and toys and the fun. This is a fun activity filled toy house. Yep. Toy house. House with toys. Ooh, I should, I should quit while I'm ahead. I should stop talking, but I'm not gonna because there's like a minute left. So I hope you guys enjoyed this house. Thank you again, Lyric. Did I say that at the beginning? This is a house submitted by Lyric8530. Good friend of mine. I love all the houses that Lyric builds. So thank you so much for submitting this one. If you guys want to submit your house, just upload it to the gallery with hashtag Zimmerky. Let me know it's for me to furnish. Or if it's already furnished, let me know it's for me to tour and I'll tour it. I might have said that already. Look at the penguin wallpaper. Ah, it's so cute. I don't know. It's a fun little house. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I post a tons of Sims videos. A tons of Sims video? A ton. A ton. I post a lot of videos. That's what I'm trying to say. I am just tongue-tied right now. Very, very tongue-tied. But I do post a lot of videos. I also live stream on Twitch every single Sunday night at 6 p.m. Eastern if you want to check that out as well for some live fun and some live interaction and some live building and live furnishing and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. I really hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! There's a few more seconds left. Bye! <laughs> okay, I, I'll go now. Wait guys, before you go anywhere, don't forget to click over here to watch new videos and click on my face when I disappear to subscribe.